this forum for a while now. What we want to do is we want to give the public an opportunity to speak so everyone can hear our words. This is an open forum, so no matter what anyone says, try not to be too offended. Because this is America and it's called free speech. I know it's a really bright and sunny day and people don't really want to uh, avert themselves from happiness, but I have a couple of words I want to say today about an issue that's very important to me. And that was the attack on the World Trade Center on September 11th, 2001. We gather today on the last date of the outdoor farmers market in Burlington, Vermont. It so happens we gather one month after the 9-11 memorial. This is a memorial that's clouded and still leaves its mark upon our very political and social systems. I wish to maintain a level of respect for the victims of that day and their families. And with a great deal of unsatisfaction, I issue today a declaration to the candidates for 2009 presidency. A reinvestigation into the destruction of the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001, is demanded by the people of the United States of America. Countless organizations, individuals, lawmakers, professionals, politicians, and families of the victims have been demanding a reinvestigation for over eight years. We demand a full reinvestigation because the official 9-11 commission report does not Jeez, satisfy not our desire so for truth. The people so ask the government for a I more in-depth account of what happened that day, and the government refuses to now, give one. Now I just carry we have long for our democracy. <laughs> if a report is given to I've the citizens of the United States of America, and just now. one fact is uncovered, that does not correlate with the account of the report, a review of that document is in order. Here is that one fact. The report does not include information about the fall of the third World Trade Center building, Building 7. Before either of the Twin Towers fell, witness Barry Jennings felt and heard explosions in Building 7, one of which trapped him in the building for seven hours before a firefighter could reach him. The Twin Towers both imploded while he was trapped, and he heard several explosions during this time. Barry is confused as to how and why Building 7 came down in the first place, and it was not struck by an airplane. The initial report on the happenings of 9-11 did not include events on Building 7. Whatever government oversight led to this major flaw in the 9-11 Commission report, alone warrants the American populace a reinvestigation. <laughs> also, no skyscraper throughout the course of history has fallen due to structural fire or impact of an airplane. Substantial amounts of thermite were found in the rubble of the fallen towers, a chemical that only exists in the making of fuses or explosives. Fred Burks, former presidential interpreter, is another State Department veteran who questions the official account of 9-11 and who signed a petition to reinvestigate. How is it possible that our military's highly touted missile detection systems could not locate Flight 77 in the 42 minutes it was known to be lost before it crashed into the heart of the defense system of the U.S.? He asked in an essay. Melvin Goodman, Ph.D., is another former State Department employee who signed the petition to reinvestigate 9-11. He served as a senior analyst at the State Department's Bureau of Intelligence and Research. Dr. Goodman also later served as Division Chief of the CIA's Office of Soviet Affairs and as Professional of International Security at the National War College, 1986-2004. In testimony before a 2005 Congressional briefing on the 9-11 Commission report, Dr. Goodman said, I want to talk about the 9-11 Commission itself, about the flawed process of the Commission and finally about the conflict of interests within the Commission that is extremely important to understand the failure of the Commission. Countless family members of 9-11 victims have come together with lists of questions that were not answered by the report, but they have not been answered. Richard Gage, a practicing architect for over 20 years, assembled the United States Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth. Most of the metal that was taken from the wreckage of the World Trade Center was shipped across seas and melted down shortly after the cleanup, an act that defies specific law concerning evidence used for an investigation. 
the budget for the 9-11 Commission was less than the budget for the Monica Lewinsky affair. The very desire for a more in-depth, inclusive report offends a large portion of this country, and that, I say, is deplorable. We base our Constitution on several freedoms, and two of those are the freedoms to speech and to information. Our government cannot refuse information from the people, yet somehow, after the most important day in recent American history, the government has done so. The years following 2001 have been hard on the country's economy, and we're in a war that would not have been made possible without, without such an act of supposed terrorism. A war in Afghanistan, a $700 billion war in Iraq, with over one million Iraqis dead, a Patriot Act, and a Homeland Security. And we cannot have the confidence to say that these developments are based upon solid, undeniable fact. It doesn't matter how many years have gone by since 2001, we can still demand a reinvestigation and honor the deaths of all those who perished in the fall of the World Trade Center. We can honor our constitutional rights. We can honor democracy and shed light upon a current war against terrorism. If the investigation, an investigation led to foolproof evidence that Osama bin Laden and Al-Qaeda as the culprits behind the attack, the drastic changes to our social structure in lieu of terrorism would make sense. The only reason to deny, to deny our demand is fear. We are not pointing any fingers as to who constructed the attacks or conspiring any theories on a government hoax. We are simply asking for a new investigation upon real flaws in the current report. You can support 9-11 Truth by joining the coalition of Vermonters who already support the movement. You can support architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth, pilots for 9-11 Truth, veterans for 9-11 Truth www.bt911.org. If anybody's interested in any information, writings from Patrick Leahy, documentaries, DVDs, please come up, talk to us. We have a table here full of information. I'm going to pass this microphone on now. If anybody has anything to say that goes against what I just said, please come up and share it. Let's open up some debate. Let's not feel as though we're pressing anything upon the people. Thank you very much for your time. Amen. Hey, How are you guys doing today? I forgot about it. This little stack of money here represents $700 billion. I know it's not as quite as high as it would be if it was a real stack, but I want to show you what we just did with all your hard-earned money, or well, the money you don't really have. $700 billion just went down the toilet. I don't know if you have older parents that are living on retirement savings. We're in big trouble, folks. It's not by accident that America is going bankrupt. More like systematic destruction. So I, I just have one question. How much does it take? How much does it take for people to get mad, to get angry? We had stolen elections. We're launching wars of aggression. We have concentration camps. They shred the Constitution. Habeas corpus. You can now be declared an enemy combatant and go to jail and not get out. What, when are people going to start getting angry and saying, I've had, I've had enough. Remember Howard Beale, one of my favorite movies, Network, Sidney Lumet? I'm mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. Where is that in America? Where is it, folks? GM, Ford, declaring bankruptcy. Markets plummeting. They're talking about bank holidays. I don't know if you guys read history, but remember Argentina? You're going to go to your ATM, you can't take out your money? This isn't some conspiracy theory, it's on the public news. Nobody's talking anything meaningfully about what's going on. And that's what I find really scary. I, yeah, it's a beautiful day, I'm loving it. I love the music, but we're in a lot of trouble. And I don't have the answers, but nobody's talking about it. Nobody's talking about it in a meaningful way. And that's all I want to say. Peace. Much love, brother. Yo, and if any of this is inspiring anyone to want to get involved, just come and sign your name, give your email address. Yo, <laughs> um, and yeah, all right, so here's Nate from UVM, and he's going to talk about the UVM scene a little bit. So how many of you guys are UVM students out there? 
Yeah? Anyone? How many of you guys pay for your own education? Do you know exactly where your money's coming, going to? <laughs> right now, UVM is currently invested in a number of war profiteers, including Halliburton, General Dynamics, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, Boeing, DynCorp, and Raytheon.